Wow, looking pretty good. I know what you're thinking, punk. You're thinking, did he fire six shots or only five? Now, to tell you the truth, I forgot myself and all this excitement. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean off. You could ask yourself the question, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? What's up, everybody? I know it's been a while, but uh, I'll tell you the truth. I've been broke, uh, struggling to pay the mortgage. I'm sure a lot of you out there uh, know what I'm talking about. Um, so my last two or three videos didn't cost me anything. Um, I haven't bought any ammo uh, in a while and uh, haven't bought any gun accessories. Um, basically maxed out all my credit cards except for one. Um, what else? Well, the good news is I got a bit of a raise. So starting next month, all my money problems will be over. And thank goodness, because it is not fun. Um, I was doing all right uh, during this pandemic because I was laid off from the oil fields, you know, when it started back in uh, April of last year, 2020. Um... But uh, I've been a temporary worker ever since, you know, working at different places. But uh, now, the place I'm working at now um, is a really good place. I really like it there. And with this raise, yeah, my money problems are basically going to go away. Um, but I do have to pay down those credit cards. I mean, that is priority number one. Now to the subject of this video. I guess it's been a little over a year since I did the last uh, Model 29 video, so this is kind of an update. Um, when I first bought this revolver, uh, I guess a little over two years ago, again, it was my first revolver I ever owned. So I didn't notice it too much, but apparently uh, there's been some, there was some cloudiness on the on the gun, and I didn't really notice because I'd never owned one of these before. I, as a matter of fact, I can't even recall picking up a blued revolver at all. Um, but it still looked great, you know. I mean, I mean, what did what did I know? I didn't know anything, but it looked all right to me. But as the years passed, you know, I watched videos of of uh, people with uh, their blued revolvers, and they look like super shiny. And I'm like, wow, 
mine doesn't look all that shiny and it always bothered me so you know what uh, I decided to, to send it back to Smith and Wesson and um, let me tell you what happened first let me show you this photo as you can see the problem isn't a whole gun the problem is the frame um, you can see the how nice the cylinder looks uh, real shiny you know sparkly whatever and uh, the frame uh, doesn't look so good um, but anyway uh, like I said it really bothered me and I just decided to go ahead and send it so here's the finished product now they didn't blue everything my understanding is just the frame which was the problem so uh, there you go if you remember that photograph it was all cloudy but now you can see um, a nice little mirror finish there now you see some smudging um, that uh, that's from the rag that I was using but uh, that, that cloudiness is basically gone and on the other side and this is the other side yeah it's just like a mirror now it's not perfect um, there are I, there are some hairline scratches on it, so I don't know if that's just part of their process or whatever, but you know what? I'm not bothered by that. This is a two-year-old gun. Um, yeah, I guess they should have done a better job with leaving out some of those little scratches, but again, you can hardly see them. you got to put them under some good light. But um, again, the, some of that smudging is from the rag. But uh, that's it, man. Uh, so they did, I guess they did a decent job. I wouldn't say perfect, but a decent job. Um, oh, also, uh, let me talk about the grips. Uh, when I first got these grips, these are original grips, uh, there was a little gap here. And the gap is still there because uh, I didn't do anything. I was going to like put a weight on it for a while and see if that would close up the gap. But um, I know it's kind of hard to see there. Let me see. Uh, turn it around hold on all right the, the gap is there you can see the light going in there but I'll be honest I totally forgot about it really I mean it's it's super minor and I totally forgot about it so I didn't do anything to it and as a matter of fact I'm not because it's not even an issue but anyway uh, that's my update for the Smith & Wesson Model 29. Um, it looks way better than when it did before I sent it. And uh, customer service was, was really good. I mean, they just told me to send some pictures and uh, they would evaluate it over there through the photographs. And then the next thing I know, I got a FedEx label. So that didn't cost me any, none of this cost me anything, just time. Oh, by the way, it took a a little over a month, I guess, a month and a half before I got this thing back, but uh, I think the wait was worth it. You know, the last couple of years has been really hard for a lot of people, and I'm hoping 2022, which is just around the corner, uh, is a new beginning for a lot of people. Um, I expect it to be for me, you know. Um, you know, we got uh, Halloween coming up, in a couple of weeks, uh, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas, and then 2022. Fingers crossed, you guys.